What are the top things to do in San Diego? Here are a few recommendations. San Diego is known as America's finest city. In this video, we have the top things you can do here and information you can use to plan your next trip to San Diego. We'll visit the major destinations, beaches, and attractions, and we'll talk about food, the culture, transportation, and some do's and don'ts here in San Diego. Our list will be in order of distance from downtown San Diego. If you'd like to skip around the video, there'll be timestamps for each location. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments. Let's get started. My first recommendation is to visit the Gas Lamp District. The Gas Lamp District is a 16-block historical district in the heart of downtown San Diego. It's known for the restaurants, galleries, bars, boutiques, and nightlife scene. During Comic-Con, this entire district transforms into a celebration of pop culture. Popular nightclubs include Vin de Serra, Altitude Sky Lounge, and Park. Number two, the Convention Center. Next to the Gas Lamp District are Petco Park, which is home to the San Diego Padres, and the San Diego Convention Center, the site of the world-famous Comic-Con. Every July, hundreds of thousands of people travel here from around the world to experience this four-day event. The convention is a place where you can experience pop culture, comic book culture, pick up exclusive items, and watch panels with world-famous entertainers. Next to the convention center are the Marriott Marquis and the Manchester Grand Hyatt, which are two of the most visited hotels in San Diego. There's a bar called the Top of the Hyatt, which offers amazing views of downtown San Diego and Coronado. Number three is Seaport Village. Seaport Village is a family-friendly port village geared towards tourists and restaurants. They have souvenir shops, specialty stores, and great views of the San Diego Bay. There's live music on the weekends near the food court and a historic carousel with hand-carved animals dating back to 1895. Recommendation number four is the USS Midway Museum and the Unconditional Surrender Statue. The USS Midway Museum is a historical naval aircraft carrier museum located here at Navy Pier. The Midway was the United States' longest serving aircraft carrier of the 20th century. In 2004, it was opened to the public as a museum and today hosts over 1 million visitors per year. The Unconditional Surrender is a 25-foot statue that recreates a famous picture of a sailor and a nurse kissing at a celebration at the end of World War II other places of interest you can visit nearby are the Maritime Museum and the Waterfront Park. Number five is Little Italy, located on India Street. This neighborhood is known for its authentic Italian cuisine, gelato, and the bar scene. Historically, it was a fishing neighborhood, but it's been updated and now it's known for its farmers markets and art festivals. For recommendation number six, we head across the bay to Coronado Island. A great way to get here is by taking the Coronado Ferry or driving over the Coronado Bridge. One of my favorite places to visit is the Coronado Ferry Landing, which is a marketplace with excellent views of downtown San Diego. Here you'll find excellent dining at Piohi's or the Village Pizzeria and live music on Sundays. There's also Tidelands Park, which is great for hosting family parties and get-togethers. And on the west side of Coronado is Coronado Beach, which is consistently voted one of America's most beautiful beaches. And of course, there's the Hotel Del Coronado, which is a historic, beautiful beachfront resort known for hosting many celebrities, politicians, and royalty over the years. It's one of the most recognizable landmarks in San Diego. And during the holidays, there's an ice rink, holiday lighting, and decorations. Stop number seven is Balboa Park. Balboa Park is the largest cultural park in the U.S. It was built for the 1915 Panama Exposition, and afterward, because of its popularity, President Roosevelt recommended that the buildings remain permanently. It's known for the gardens, museums, theaters, shops, and restaurants. Some great places to visit are the Fleet Science Center, the Natural History Museum, Air and Space Museum, the Museum of Art, and the Museum of Us. There are also beautiful gardens, including the Japanese Friendship Garden, Alcazar Garden, and the Botanical Building. And at 2 p.m. on Sundays, you can hear a free concert at the Spreckles Organ Pavilion. This is a great place to spend the day walking around and taking in the sights. And there's free parking and a free shuttle service as well. Number eight, the San Diego Zoo is considered one of the best zoos in the world. And you can find everything here from lions to elephants, hippos, rhinos, polar bears, koalas, gorillas, and so much more. 
The bus tour and Sky Fari rides will give you a great view of the park and the animals. And in 2022, the zoo opened the Wildlife Explorers Base Camp, which is an updated children's zoo complete with many state-of-the-art interactive exhibits. The San Diego Zoo also has an 1,800-acre safari park located 45 minutes north of downtown. The safari park is known for its Africa tram tour, zipline experience, camping, and the safari tours. Old Town was the first settlement built in San Diego back when it was still part of Mexico. Today, the historical park preserves Old Town as it existed during the Mexican and early American periods. This is a great place to visit to learn about early settlement life in California, and the Old Town Trolley Tour offers tours and museum entry that even includes stops in Balboa Park and downtown. Point Loma sits at the western part of San Diego Bay. It's home to the Cabrillo National Monument, named for the first European explorer to reach San Diego Bay. It's also the location of the old Point Loma Lighthouse and Rosecrans National Cemetery. Near the eastern shore of Point Loma is Liberty Station, which is a formal naval training center and now a mixed-use development known for the restaurants, craft beer, arts, and craft festivals. Ocean Beach was once called the Haight-Ashbury of San Diego, attracting the hippie and art communities. It's home to the longest concrete pier on the west coast and one of the largest dog-friendly beaches in San Diego. The main strip, Newport Avenue, is known for its antique shops, the dive bars, hostels, and head shops. You can find great burgers at Hodad's or tacos at Mike's Taco Club. In the evening, you can catch one of the best sunsets in San Diego, just down the road at Sunset Cliffs. My next recommendation is SeaWorld. SeaWorld is an aquatic theme park with thrill rides and attractions. Shows like the Orca Encounter and Dolphin Adventure captivate and educate guests. Exhibits like the Shark Encounter or Wild Arctic teach us the importance of conservation and the park features world-class launch and dive coasters. In 2022, SeaWorld opened Sesame Place, which is a Sesame Street-themed water park located 20 minutes south of downtown in Chula Vista. Mission Valley is known for shopping, hotels, and the Snapdragon Stadium. Fashion Valley has many luxury brand stores, and Hotel Circle is a popular area to stay among tourists, since parking and hotel fares are cheaper here compared to downtown. Mission Valley is also home to the Mission San Diego, which is an early Spanish settlement in San Diego that you can visit. Next is Mission Beach, famous for its boardwalk and Belmont Park. Belmont Park is an amusement park that is home to the nearly 100-year-old Giant Dipper roller coaster. They also have many carnival-style rides and games. There's an arcade, food vendors, surf and souvenir shop, and beachfront restaurants. The Plunge is the largest swimming pool in Southern California with floor-to-ceiling windows and a gym. On the weekends, you can hear live music and DJs at Belmont Park's Beach House. Mission Bay Park is the largest man-made aquatic park in the country at 4,200 acres. Mission Bay is a man-made water sports zone popular for fishing and kite surfing. These days you'll see many stand-up paddle boarders, jet skiers, and families having barbecues along the bay. This is a perfect place to escape the heat during a warm summer day or spend some time with your family. Pacific Beach is one of the most visited beaches in San Diego, and it's known for its bar and college nightlife scene. Garnet Avenue is lined with bars and restaurants. The beachfront has a 3.2 mile long ocean front walk, otherwise known as the boardwalk, and the main feature of Pacific Beach is Crystal Pier, a privately owned pier that is also a hotel. Next up is Kate Sessions Park, which is a public park known for its views of San Diego and Mission Bay. It's recently become a very popular place for people sitting down in the grass and looking out at the view. Next is Mount Soledad, also known as Soledad Mountain. It's a prominent landmark here in San Diego and it's a National Veterans Memorial. From here you'll have 360 degree views of all of San Diego. You can see all the way down to Mexico. If it's clear enough, you can see all the way up to Catalina Island and Long Beach. This is definitely the kind of place you want to go just to soak in the view. 
possibly the most popular beach community is the upscale yet charming seaside community of La Jolla. It's known for its sandy beaches and rocky coves. La Jolla Shores is a family-friendly sandy beach with grass, volleyball, and playground areas. La Jolla Cove is a rocky cove popular for snorkeling and diving. The children's pool is an enclosed swim area, which is now home to sea lions and seals. Prospect Street has luxury branded shopping and culinary experiences, and to the south are the local favorite beaches, Marine Street, Wind and Sea, and Bird Rock. To the north of La Jolla is Torrey Pines, which is known for world-class golf, paragliding, and hiking. The Torrey Pines Golf Course is home to the PGA Tour Farmers Insurance Open, offering one-of-a-kind ocean views. The glider port is considered the Kitty Hawk of the West, with many notable aviators having earned their wings here. Black's Beach is a big wave surfing spot, and there's the Torrey Pines State Beach and Reserve, which is one of the most beautiful places for a hike in San Diego. Let's take a minute to talk about food. San Diego is the birthplace of the California burrito, which is a carne asada burrito with pico de gallo and french fries inside. It's also here where the Ensenada style or beer battered fish tacos gain their popularity. Almost any Mexican food restaurant in San Diego will have great food simply because the bar is so high. But some of the best rated local spots are Las Cuatro Milpas, Tacos El Gordo, Lucho Libre, Oscar's Mexican Seafood, Old Town Mexican Cafe, but there's so many to list, so let me know which ones are your favorite that I missed in the comments below. San Diego has also become a hub of craft breweries, consistently rated as one of the top beer cities in the country. Many breweries started small here and grew into international names. The big ones you might recognize include some names like Stone Brewing, Ballast Point, Alesmith, Green Flash, Mike Hess, Carl Strauss, and Coronado Brewing Company. And there are also new outfits making waves, such as Deft Brewing, Kilowatt Brewing, Modern Times Beer, and the San Diego Brewing Company. This deserves to be its own video, so let me know in the comments your favorite brewery. San Diego also has some great burgers, and everyone has their own personal favorite. But some local favorites here are In-N-Out, Ho Dad's, The Friendly, Rocky's Crown Pub, and The Balboa. Let us know your recommendations, and maybe we can make it into a future video. Located in Kearney Mesa, the Convoy Asian Cultural District, or as the locals call it, Convoy, is a popular restaurant row and diverse community. Here you'll find amazing Korean, Japanese, Chinese, Thai, and Vietnamese dining. Convoy is one of the most underrated destinations that tourists don't hear about all that often. It's generally a place that mostly locals visit, but the prices here are reasonable for the high quality food. And if you're looking for an off the beaten path experience, this is a great option. And now for a few things you might want to avoid or think about. Overall, San Diego is a safe city, but as with most cities, there are places to avoid. In general, the neighborhoods directly to the east of the 5 Freeway near downtown have a higher crime rate, and since 2020, homelessness has been on the rise. If you plan on hitting the beaches, avoid Imperial Beach after the rain because of its proximity to the storm drain runoff coming from the Tijuana River. It doesn't rain that often in San Diego, but when it does, it becomes an event, so be extra careful on the roads and as a San Diegan I can say the locals here don't drive well in the rain. If you're hiking in the mountains first check if there are mountain lions in the area and if you're hiking by the seaside bluffs of sunset cliffs or Torrey Pines stay on the marked trails to avoid landslides. And now the sunsets. Almost anywhere near the coast is a great place to see a sunset. A few of my personal favorite places to watch the sunset here are the Torrey Pines glider port, the La Jolla shores, Crystal Pier, Sunset Cliffs, and Coronado Beach. What's your favorite place to see the sunset? Let us know in the comments below. And as a bonus, here are some communities worth visiting. San Diego is known as a city of villages, and here are a few popular communities that are worth visiting. Hillcrest is the heart of the LGBTQ community, and it's home to the annual Pride Parade. There's some great food and bars here. 
North Park is a fashionable neighborhood known for the nightlife, specialty coffees, and craft beers. On Thursdays, there's a farmer's market here with food vendors and live music, and in the evening, you can catch a live concert at the North Park Observatory. Del Mar is known for its fairgrounds and its beaches. The 340-acre fairgrounds is home to conventions all throughout the year and horse racing during the summer. Del Mar also has a very popular dog beach with volleyball courts, and there's also the popular powerhouse in Seagrove Park. Encinitas is considered one of the best surf towns in the world. They're popular for Moonlight State Beach and Swami's Surf Break, which was popularized in the famous Beach Boy song, Surfing USA. The Golden Lotus Temple is a popular meditation garden that you can visit. And to the south in Encinitas near San Alijo State Beach is a very popular statue called the Cardiff Kook, which is often decorated comically by the locals. And then there's Carlsbad, which is 30 miles north of downtown San Diego, and it's called the Village by the Sea. The beach town features amazing German-inspired architecture. And by the 5 Freeway, there's the Carlsbad Outlets, which is popular for shopping and eating. And just next door are the Carlsbad Flower Fields and the world-famous Legoland. Oceanside is a popular tourist destination known for its beaches, the Oceanside Pier, and Highway 101 landmarks. It's a military and beach suburban community that's gaining popularity as a tourist attraction. If you learned something new, please hit the like button. It helps YouTube know that the video is enjoyable to others and worth sharing. And subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Now, to continue the journey, click here. Have an awesome day.